Hi there, welcome to SV Med Lectures. Today, we'll be taking a look at starting forces, specifically hydrostatic pressure as well as oncotic pressure. So let's get started. So there are four starting forces, two hydrostatic pressures as well as two oncotic pressures, or otherwise known as colloid osmotic pressures. Here below, we have the four starting forces and their associated symbols. In regards to the symbols, uh, P stands for hydrostatic, pi stands for oncotic, and the subscript C stands for capillaries, and the subscript I stands for interstitium. So the four starting forces are as follows. Hydrostatic pressure in the capillaries, P subscript C. Hydrostatic pressure in the interstitium, P subscript I. Oncotic pressure in the capillaries, pi subscript C. And lastly, oncotic pressure in the interstitium, pi subscript I. On your right hand side here, we have a nice schematic. Um, this is the capillary, this is the arterial end of the capillary, this is the venous end of the capillary, and this is the direction of the blood flow. And these four arrows depicts each of the four starting forces, and we'll be discussing each of these in upcoming slides. So, what is meant when we say hydrostatic pressure? Hydrostatic pressure is a force that is generated by the pressure of the fluid on the capillary walls, either by the blood plasma in the capillary, or in the interstitium by the interstitial fluid. There are two hydrostatic pressures, hydrostatic pressure in the capillaries, as well as hydrostatic pressure in the interstitium. The hydrostatic pressure in the capillaries occurs when there's an increased pressure of fluid inside of the capillaries, and this is due to the pressure coming from the heart pumping. And this hydrostatic pressure will move fluid from the capillaries into the interstitium as depicted by this arrow right here. Then we have the hydrostatic pressure in the interstitium. This occurs when there is an increased pressure of fluid in the interstitium compared to inside of the capillaries. And this hydrostatic pressure will move fluid from the interstitium into the capillaries as depicted by this arrow right here. Here this is a nice summary slide of what I discussed in the previous slide. So hydrostatic pressure in the capillaries will move fluid from the capillaries into the interstitium. Hydrostatic pressure in the interstitium will move fluid from the interstitium into the capillaries. So, next, what is meant when we say oncotic pressure? Oncotic pressure also is called colloid osmotic pressure. Oncotic pressure is exerted by the proteins in either the blood plasma or in the interstitial fluid, in the interstitium. And these proteins, they attract water to the hydration shell of those proteins. Oncotic pressure occurs when two fluid compartments, in our case inside of the capillaries as well as the interstitium, has a different solute concentration and are separated by a semipermeable membrane as capillaries do. And since capillaries are semipermeable, like I said, the concentrated compartment, usually the capillary, will pull water towards it, as demonstrated by this arrow right here. It pulls water into the capillaries. However, if there are more proteins or solids in the interstitium compared to uh, inside of the capillaries, then oncotic pressure of the interstitium increases. And as a result, water will move from the capillaries into the interstitium, as depicted by this arrow right here. Here we have a nice summary slide of what I just discussed on the previous slide. So oncotic pressure in the capillaries is depicted by this arrow right here and it moves fluid from the interstitium into the capillaries. Oncotic pressure in the interstitium is depicted by this arrow, and it moves fluid from the capillaries into the interstitium. So uh, that's the end of this uh, short lecture. I uh, wish you all the best on all your studies. Good luck, and please like and subscribe. Thank you. Take care.